September 11th, St. Paphnutius, Bishop in Egypt. The holy monk Paphnutius was an Egyptian who, after having spent several years in the desert under the direction of St. Anthony, the holy confessor of Egypt, was made bishop in a birthy bade. Paphnutius suffered persecution under the rule of Emperor Maximinus, which is said to have been the bloodiest persecution of Christians during the Roman Empire. He had his right eye gouged out and his left knee hamstrung and mutilated. Then the bishop was condemned to work in the mines for refusing to comply with traditional Roman pagan practices. When peace was restored to the church around the year 313, Paphnutius returned to his diocese and his flock, bearing forever the evidence of his sufferings. The Arian heresy was entering into Egypt, and he was sent to be one of the most zealous defenders of the Catholic faith. For his eminent sanctity and his glorious title of confessor, that is, one who has confessed the faith before the persecutors and under torments, he was highly esteemed at the great council of Nicaea in the year 325. Meeting at Nicaea, in present-day Turkey, the council established the equality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in the Holy Trinity, and asserted that only the Son became incarnate as Jesus Christ. Constantine the Great, during the celebration of that synod, sometimes conferred privately with him in his palace, and never dismissed him without kissing respectfully the place which once held the eye he had lost for the faith. St. Paphnutius remained in close union with St. Athanasius and accompanied him to the Council of Tyre in the year 355. We have no particular account of the death of this saint, but his name is recorded in the Roman Martyrology on the 11th of September. Reflection. If to fight for our country be glorious, it is likewise great glory to follow the Lord, 